Welcome, everyone. Hey, uh, you all familiar with uh, Prop 47 in California? The law that passed uh, allowing people, uh, you know, to steal up to $950 worth of merchandise without being charged uh, a felony, uh, but only a misdemeanor. Hmm. Yeah, sounds like a really bad idea. Well, it caused a lot of issues. Lots of problems in Californians. Lots of businesses have shut down because of it. It was in place for 10 years, right? Took California about 10 years to figure out that this would not be a good idea. Only after all the suffering, only after all the loss of business, loss of revenue, businesses shutting down like left and right. California is a, it's a wasteland. It's absolutely horrible. And I only hope that it would actually turn around and they get new government uh, and new officials in charge. I want you to take a look at what Prop 47 is all about. And it's crazy. Voters will get to decide whether to roll back Prop 47 this fall. The initiative passed 10 years ago has been blamed for a rampant theft. Eyewitness News reporter Jaysha Patel live in Glendale with the details on this. Jaysha. Yeah, Mark and Rachel, over the course of the past year, we've seen those dramatic videos of smash and grabs, stores closing and more. Well, now there's a new measure that will hopefully crack down on this, and it all revolves around Prop 47. Now, Prop 47 was passed by voters back in 2014, and it reduced many drug possession and property crimes valued at $950 or less to misdemeanors. Prop 47 also allows resentencing for people convicted of felonies for those offenses. We'll well, now there's a new measure, which is called the Homelessness, Drug and Theft Reduction Act that would change elements of Prop 47. The new measure would allow felony charges for possessing certain drugs, including fentanyl, and for thefts under $950. The measure also aims to help people who are homeless with their mental health and with addiction. Now, the initiative is expected to be certified for the November 5th general election. What a huge reversal. Now you're going to be charged a felony which should have been there in the first place. That should have initially been what you should be charged for, for stealing under $950 worth of stuff. Okay, so you can come in one day and steal $949 worth of stuff. You can come in next week and steal $949, you know, and it just goes on and on and on. So if somebody's trying to literally steal under $900. These are the kind of people that are in charge uh, at red states like Gavin Newsom. <laughs> he wants to be your president probably one day, okay? That's their that's one of their main guys on the Democrat side, Gavin Newsom. All right. He allowed this. This is probably his idea. Just let him steal something, you know. Can you all believe that? Can you believe that California let it go that long before they realized that it was a bad idea to let people steal up to nine hundred and fifty dollars worth of stuff from stores? Can you imagine that coming to your city or your state? Can you imagine what it would be like for your businesses? Can you imagine how many businesses would shut down in the first year? California has put up with this for 10 years. Now, people are absolutely tired of it. Rightfully so. Okay, but you had some people. Can you believe that you actually had some people that thought this was a good idea? Criminals should always be arrested, guys. Criminals, I don't care how small the crime. If you're going to tolerate it, you're going to have this type of things happening in your city or your state. You can't be soft on crime. Never. Not because you're a mean person, but criminals just belong in jail. Bottom line, man, it's going to cause a lot of collapse in your city and state every single time. 10 years is a very long time to have this kind of thing in place. And it's done a lot of damage. Man, oh man. So people are absolutely tired of it, especially law enforcement. They are so tired of it. You know, get out of jail free cards. They've had it and they've had enough. So much so that people that were once Democrats on the law enforcement, which makes no sense to me, by the way are now going to be voting for Trump.
Law enforcement, apparently, if you listen to our governor, is systemically racist. If you listen to our legislature, our laws are systemically racist. Our judicial system is systemically racist. Um, all of these people that are being put in jail are because of law enforcement bias and DA bias and all of these things. And so they let them out. They give them food. They give them housing. They give them money. They give them drugs and alcohol now. And um, I, I, I got to be honest, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired and I'm wondering if I'm having a change of heart and deciding that, you know what, maybe I've been wrong and I think I'm going to change teams. I know it's going to make some of you angry. I know that you're going to be mad at me, but I'm going to change teams. I think they're onto something, but I don't think they're doing enough. I think that we need to go big. You know me, it, it, go big or go home. You're the biggest, you do the best, you're the best at everything and you might as well do something right if you're going to do it. And I'm all in. And I hope that you're all with me. I hope that you all have this change of heart. Uh, you all feel that this is the definitely the right thing to do and you come alongside me in this venture. And um, I, I think it's time that instead of letting them out of jail and, and, and giving them alcohol and drugs and everything else, I think it's time we put a felon in the White House. Trump 2024, baby. Let's save this country and make America great again. Yeah, I think this is it for California. They're done with the shenanigans. Gavin Newscum, I heard Trump call him Gavin Newscum. <laughs> Perfect name for him. You know, I'm laughing, but it's just not funny because California is a beautiful place. It can be a very beautiful place. But when the devil comes in and tries to steal and terrorize everything, you got to stand up and fight back. But you have to know that you're in the actual fight. Pick up your Bible. It's time to fight, okay? They're going to destroy everything away from you. And, you know, the Hollywood elites up there in Beverly Hills somewhere, you know, uh, they don't care, okay? They just don't care. When you live in a, a liberal city, when you live in a liberal state, it, you just get used to all sorts of shenanigans, it just, and you let them go. Trust me, I lived in one for a very long time. Don't let it go anymore. It's going to get so much worse. So if you're listening to this and you live in California, you're from California, you need to be outraged on the street when you talk to people. Get their heads on straight. Make sure they know what in the world is at stake here for this election coming up. All right, if we even have one, if things go well, we'll see what happens. But it would be really nice to see some people from California actually wake up and stand up in the masses. Okay? Get behind it, man. We just want to see everyone do better. That's all, including Silicon Valley. We love you. All right, we like what you're doing. We like technology. We, we, we love all the advancements. That's wonderful. But we have to use them for good or else we're all toast. Okay, simple as that. <laughs> I love you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, guys. And as I asked you before, please watch the videos all the way to the end. Um, so critical for my channel. I would really like your help with that. But, you know, if you don't, that's on you, man. I'm, I'm going to get these watch time hours. <laughs> okay, we're going to do it. I'm determined to do it. Thank you so much.